everyone. So today I will show you the exercises that we've been doing during the class and they will cover rulos together with the dissociation of the body and the lapis that we are making while trying to rotate. So let's say we are going to look towards the diagonal. Let's bring the leg into the cross and try not to move your standing leg. So when I'm going to rotate, I'm not gonna pivot. All I want to do right now is to ground myself very well in my hip, in my hip, really feel that you grounded yourself. Your sitting bone should be going right into the heel. So you need to feel that you're very, very stable. As soon as you feel grounded, a little bit heavy, just lift your free leg and try to feel that you're really, really grounding yourself and being stable on the floor, okay? So, as soon as you started to feel that, make sure that your shoulders are down and try to feel just those muscles here. It's very important, slightly to push down, not too much, just a little bit. Okay, elbows forward. So I'm bringing my free leg into the cross. Now, I start from the body movement. I start to rotate the body. Just feel that. Make sure that you do not put any pressure. If you put the pressure, then the balance will change. This leg is free, it is light is barely touching the floor, just with the tip of my toe. That's it. Okay, so we are rotating the body. Now, there are two options. Either you start rotating the body and the leg would start to make the rouleau. Then you're pushing a little bit more together with the leg. That's it. I feel, okay, this is my maximum. I am going to reverse my body, the leg goes back and now I'm just pushing a little bit more to the side so to return the leg, alright? So another option is to go and feel that all your body is going through the leg, basically attached to the leg. So I have a strong core here and it's connected to my leg. So when I open it, my body goes with the leg. So you can try an exercise. Make sure that you are not pivoting. My ball of the feet and the heel is strongly attached to the floor. So I'm rotating my body together with the leg. So basically my body is sending out the leg. When I am doing it, I'm softening my standing leg, the knee of the standing leg. So I'm going down and I'm returning back and I rise. And it has to be bouncy, bouncy. So I'm going down, down up, down. Just I rise slightly down, up, down, up, down, up. So you need to feel this bouncy motion. No? Okay. My leg is opening with the body. The body is the one that is leading the leg. Now, let's say here, I can push a little bit more to the side, dissociate a little bit more. Thanks to this dissociation, my leg is going further, further, okay? You can try to do it here as well, further, okay? Further. Again, my body is sending out the leg, yeah? Normally we have the body, hips, and the leg is finishing the movement. So body, hip, and the leg. Make sure that your hip is not in, yeah? The leg is always a little bit turned out. If it is turned in, 
you block yourself, you can't go. Make sure that the hip is, is open. So, turning the body leg goes, this is my maximum, okay? Now, I am pushing just a bit more, so the leg is going backwards. Backwards, and now my body reverses. Because of this reverse, the leg is gonna just come back, yeah? Again, from here, the reverse is bringing my leg back. Make sure you don't do it with the hands, okay? This is not right. Keep your elbows here. Keep your shoulders down. Make sure that you are not in. Make sure that you release yourself. The back is straight. The back is straight, yeah? Very often, people start doing uh, those twists and they go in. So we are not going in, we constantly keep our shoulders down. So from here, I reverse and leg comes back, okay? So just do this exercise as many times as you can, yeah? Repetition is the mother of skill. <laughs> this is the only way to get it. So again, body reverse together. Standing leg is not moving. The knee of the standing leg is soft, always bouncing. The more you learn to soften it, the better you will feel. You can even exaggerate and go lower. It is okay. If you learn to do that, if you learn to use the knee of your standing leg, you will find it much easier to balance. Okay, make sure you don't throw your hands. Hands are always attached to the body. Yeah, attached to the body. Okay, very good. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we are going to add little ruito. So now we are going, imagine that you stand on the sand. So you want to push the sand, you want to push the sand uh, with your turned in, in leg. So this is turned out, this is turned in. Now, now, now for the ruler, I'm going to use the turned in leg, turned in leg, just open. The leg is not out, the leg is turned in. You are pushing the sand with the, with the inside edge of the big toe, right? The hip is in at the moment. The hip is in. Now, in order to push more sand, it's a bit hard to do it this way. Okay, we just decorate and after finishing one rulo, I am opening the hip and finishing the movement. <laughs> so one more time. The leg is in, you're just doing inward, rulo, opening the leg with the hip, make sure with the hip, the body movement is exactly the same. Again, from here, bam, bam, and again. Down, bam. Also, try not to rush. Do every single movement one after another. So, here, I am opening. I first do the rulo. I'm not moving anywhere. First, I do the rulo. Ten times, if you like. One or two is also good. And then, I continue the movement with all the body dissociation. And I go. So, here I start to send my leg just a little bit. Okay, I do my rulo. I am keeping my body on the same place. And now, as I open my leg, I complete the movement. I hope that this is gonna help you guys to improve your rulos and your beautiful rondes and lapises. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much and see you soon.